Hi everybody, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're talking about how to promix efficient face cream for, let's say, brown skin, black skin. So, in this video, you're gonna see important things to consider when promixing. So, just so you know, making a face cream that is suitable for black skin can be a complex, I would say it can be a complex process because our skin, for example, the black skin, the brown skin is unique, has unique properties that, ha, that, that, that leads to a tendency to produce more oil. As a result of that, we need, um, as a result of that, to promix this oil, you need to be very, very efficient. And in this video, we're going to be talking about choosing the right ingredients for promixing. So choosing the right ingredients to promix your face cream is very important. So the ingredients, you have to choose, for example, one, you have to choose ingredients that are rich in antioxidants so ingredients that will help protect the skin from the environmental damage so another secondly looking for ingredients that can help regulate oil production in the skin you know a lot of us have uh, oil prone skin or skin that produce oil a lot and the products or the, or the ingredients that you have to consider when promixing face cream is very important in another video, we're going to make the kind of ingredients you need for our kind of skin. So this video is just basically how to promote, what to consider, how to choose, what to consider how, uh, when promixing. Another point is use ingredients that can soothe and hydrate skin. You know, sometimes when people have dry skin, dry skin, you know, your face, it doesn't so that when you put when you apply on your skin it only brighten your skin and also moisturize your skin hydrates your skin keep your skin hydrated another very important point is to um, adjust or consider the formulation adjusting your function to suit your skin type or your face type texture is very important they such as light oils like gel lotion to prevent uh, clogging of the pore, so you don't have to use base that is um, that is very very thick. You need to use a light light base so that it won't clog your pores. Another thing we also need to consider is uh, the pH level of the cream. Consider the pH level of the cream, and also try to always adjust it. That is pH level that make it pH level that is according to our skin make the the pH level to be slightly acidic so that it can match the skin's pH natural pH sometimes if you taste your skin for those taste your skin you see that your skin is either a bit salty or it's a bit acidic so let that pH level match the pH level of your pro mixing match the natural pH level of the skin when pro mixing so another thing is the kind of skin you have. So you should also consider your skin type. If your skin is prone to acne or hyperpigmentation, that is skin that keeps uh, dark spots. When you have people, you pinch it. The next thing you see, the, the, it creates dark spot. And the dark spot doesn't go away easily. You have to consider that kind of skin and the kind of ingredients that you put inside your lotion we have to talk about the ingredients in another video so you subscribe and stay tuned the next point is your skin sensitivity if your skin is very sensitive look for ingredients that can soothe and calm the skin like sometimes it's also necessary to patch test to make sure that the ingredient suits your skin it doesn't harm your skin instead okay another thing we also have to consider is that we our skin types vary know that what works for a might not work for b 
or one work for another person or no work for another person. So it's important to pay attention to how the skin reacts to different ingredients and adjust your formulation accordingly. It's always a good idea too to patch test, as I said previously, patch test to make sure, especially you're using new products, to make sure the product you're using on your face are acceptable. And how do you patch test? You use the most fragile part of your hand. For example, for, for myself, the most fragile part of my skin is the inside of my elbow. So when I want to patch test, that's what I do. That's why I patch test. That's why I patch test to make sure everything is fine. You know, your face is the most important part of your, most important point of your skin. Somebody sees it comes the first, uh, uh, um, the first view of your face is very important. People look at your face first. So your face should be bright, you know, so especially in this our generation. There are many things you can use to enhance your skin, your face, you know. So give your face a treat and make sure you look beautiful. It's not very expensive. You must have a lot of money to give yourself a treat, to treat your face, make your face look good. So watch this video, guys. Watch it to the end. Stay updated. Subscribe on more important videos on how to promix a cream for your skin. In the next video, we're going to cite the ingredients that you need for each uh, um, skin type in Promix.